Hey guys, welcome back. Last time we saw how we can delete a to-do item. So we can go remove it from the list. So in this video, I want us to look at how to edit an item. So if you wanted to like change the title and also change the description. So we're going to still be doing this using model forms. So we want to be defining our custom HTML for the form content. All right, so let's go ahead and add the edit functionality. What we want to do is, of course, we need a view and also we need the URL to handle it. This time, let's start from the URL. So I'm going to copy paste that and then I'll change edit. I'll change this to edit to do. We're going to need an item to edit. Then this is going to be to do edit. Then this can be to do edit. Okay, so we need to have this view created. So in the views, let's come over here and create that view. So def a keyword argument there. So we'll be passing the ID and then let's return render request. So we're gonna be rendering to do edit with HTML. And of course we need to create this. And remember we need to pass the form to it. Let's first create the template. So we're gonna go to templates then to do's then we'll have edit to do.html so over here this will look quite similar to create to do so i'm going to copy and duplicate this so then we can change what we want so we are extending our base template so we can get things like the global styles we're not using any static files here so we can remove that then now we can add our content. Let's change this one to edit. So we need the form. The form is going to be submitting to edit to do. And also we need to pass the ID. So in the views, we need a way to first get which to do this one is and pass it to the to the template. So I'm going to copy this since we already looked at get item of get object of all form. So here we try to get the to do that the user is trying to access and then we create a context for the to-do like this. So we also need access to the form. Now for us to be able to basically create this form with the content in there, we need to first get the, the current instance of the to-do which we already have here. Now we can construct a to-do form. So we can say form equals to-do form like this. Then we can pass instance equals this to-do like this. Okay, so now that we have this, then we can go ahead and put a comma here and also pass the form. So the form is gonna be the form. We can pass the context to the render. So let's save this. This should be full colon, of course. So now let's go to the template. So in to do edit, we are already getting the form. So when we get the form, we want to render it like this as P. Of course, we need the CSRF token there. Then for the submit, for the submit button here we're gonna say save because now we are saving okay so edit of course expects the id so we are passing the to do so you can say to do id so you take a look at this it expects us to pass that id so that's why we do this other second part okay so now if we save this we need a way to if we save this and come back over here even if when, when we go here edit is not working anymore even here it's not yet working so we need to hook it up in our current templates so i'm gonna go to the home so home uh, okay is index.html so index.html where we have the edit i'm going to come back i'm going to come over here and now repress this to to do edit and then pass the dynamic id so let's also add the link from the detail page so you can go to the to do detail where we have edit and also add this href so you already know we do url then we want to do to do edit then let's pass the id so it's gonna be to do id here so let's check again so come back if you come here so if you come there and click you see that now we get the errors so remember we need to get errors that are more descriptive so so i'm going to go to settings.py and turn off and turn on debug so debug should be true now if you come back and refresh you should see that now we get the basically the, the errors so reverse dot for edit to do was not found okay yeah so in the post in the form if we come here in the form we need to make sure it is called to do edit all right so now if we refresh you see that now we have our form it's even preferred so we didn't have to write this stuff out the only thing we are doing is in the views we are constructing a form and we are giving it an instance 
of the to-do. So now in the to-do edit, we are just rendering out that form and things are looking good already. So now let's go ahead and handle the submission. So the submission is going to be in the views, it's going to be quite similar to the create. So if we take a look at the create, I'm going to copy out creating and also the redirecting sections. So now I'm going to copy this. So down here, we are going to check I'm going to check if the request is post. So if a user is submitting this form, let's make sure the indentation is okay. So if it's post, we pick the title, the description. Then we, we already have the to-do. We don't have to construct it again. Now we update our to-do and then we say save. And then we redirect here. Okay, so that should be good. If we save this and come here, let's say we change this to updated. Then let me rename this to updated. Let me unchange it. So if we save, see that now we get updated. And if you come back to the list, you see it was updated and it was changed. So if we wanted to complete it, we came here and completed it, clicked save. You see that now it was completed. Okay, so that's how you can use model forms to edit the information. So in the next video, I'm gonna come and we start making, like showing some messages every time we like delete an item or we delete an item. So thanks guys for watching, I'll see you in the next section.